Taking question number 17 of exercise 2.2 of inverse trigonometric functions. The question is find the value of this expression 10 inverse of 10 3 pi by 4. Okay, now to solve this question, we should know this result. 10 inverse of 10x is equal to x if x belongs to open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So what does this mean that we could write 10 inverse of 10 of certain angle as equal to that angle if that angle belongs to this interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now because 3 pi by 4 does not belong to this interval so we will have to simplify it. So to simplify it I write 10 inverse of 10 3 pi by 4 as equal to 10 inverse of 10 of pi minus pi by 4. Okay you can see that pi minus pi by 4 is equal to 3 pi by 4 it is very easy to see. Now we know that pi means 180 degree so 10 of 180 minus a is equal to minus 10 a so i can write this as equal to 10 inverse of minus 10 of pi by 4 further i know that 10 of minus theta is equal to minus 10 theta okay so i can write this as equal to 10 inverse of 10 of minus pi by 4 and minus pi by 4 belongs to this interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so I th write this as equal to minus pi by 4. Okay. Now there can be more method of solving the same thing. But this was the most convenient method which I took. And in this manner we are going to solve this question. Taking question number 18 of exercise 2.2 of inverse trigonometrical functions. We have to find the value of this expression 10 of sine inverse of 3 by 5 plus cot inverse of 3 by 2. Now to solve this question, we shall firstly convert both the values into 10 inverse. Okay. And this is quite logical because we cannot right now simplify this expression. If both the values are converted into 10 inverse, then we can simplify them and make one value of 10 inverse, which is going to cancel with the 10, which is written outside the bracket. So this is the idea I'm using. Okay. So we are going to uh, convert both these values into 10 inverse. So taking first value x as equal to sine inverse of 3 by 5. So we assume that this value is equal to 3 by 5. So I can write sine x is equal to 3 by 5. Now we shall represent sine x which is equal to 3 by 5 in the form of a right angle triangle. So we can take a right angle triangle and mark this angle as equal to x. And because we know that sine a is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse so we can write the side opposite to this angle x as equal to 3k hypotenuse we can mark as equal to 5k so this base will be equal to 4k okay so now since we have represented x in the form of a triangle so we can write 10x as equal to 3k upon 4k or directly equal to 3 upon 4 and this means that x is equal to 10 inverse of 3 by 4 so this converts the value of x which was in the form of sine inverse in the form of 10 inverse okay similarly we are going to take the second value as equal to y y is equal to cot inverse of 3 by 2 okay so we can write cot y is equal to 3 by 2 and in the similar manner we can also represent cot y as equal to this is base so base is written as 3k because cot is equal to base upon perpendicular so this 3 can be represented as 3k as one of the side of a triangle this can be represented as 2k and the hypotenuse can be written as square root of 13k by applying Pythagoras theorem so actually in this question this value is not necessary because we have to calculate 10 inverse and uh, the value of 10 inverse is uh, requires the only uh, perpendicular and base to be calculated okay so i can write 10 y is equal to 2k upon 3k or i can write y is equal to 10 inverse of 2 by 3 okay 10 y is written as 2k upon 3k because uh, 10 is equal to perpendicular upon base okay so in this manner i've converted the value of cot inverse into 10 inverse there is also an alternative method of doing this 
we can do this by applying this formula cot inverse of theta is equal to 10 inverse of 1 upon theta so we could have also directly written cot inverse of 3 by 2 as 10 inverse of 2 by 3 we know this result so this calculation is equivalent to uh, using this formula okay so you know both the methods so whenever the method is required you can solve it now we have converted sine inverse into 10 inverse cot inverse into 10 inverse we have to just place the values so placing values i get this 10 of 10 inverse of 3 by 4 plus 10 inverse of 2 by 3 i'm going to combine the angles that is i'm going to solve 10 inverse of 3 by 4 plus 10 inverse of 2 by 3 as 10 inverse of 3 by 4 plus 2 by 3 upon 1 minus 3 by 4 into 2 by 3 okay so I could I, I'm not cancelling this 3 because uh, I'm seeing that in numerator and denominator I'm, I'm, I can get 12 dividing both numerator and denominator so I write this value as equal to taking LCM I'm, I'm going to get 12 so this is going to become 9 go to the 8 here LCM would be 12 so this will be equal to 12 minus 6 so this 12 12 can be cancelled this will be equal to 17 this will be equal to 6 so I get this as 10 of 10 inverse of 17 upon 6 or 17 upon 6 which is my required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.